after thinking uh, and getting feedback uh, from the public as well as uh, my friends and colleagues and all that, uh, I have decided uh, to stand in Batu area. <laughs> Independents are generally able to vote according to their beliefs and the perceived will of their electorate. Whereas members who belong to political parties are expected to follow the party line on most votes. We have seen this happening in our very own parliament. They have the same rights as other members of parliament. That is, they can ask questions at question time, speak on matters before the house that affect them or their constituents and vote on pieces of legislation and motions before the house. Independent members of parliament are sometimes in a position to hold the balance of power when a vote is taken in parliament. When this is the case, the government will likely negotiate with the independent member or members in an attempt to ensure their support. Sometimes an independent has the power to determine which major political party forms the government. This occurred in Queensland during the 1990s. An independent represents an electorate or state or territory in the same way as all members of parliament do, as well as taking part in debate on government bills presented to the parliament an independent can introduce their own bill. An independent can scrutinize legislation and in holding governments publicly accountable. Any majority representation in any government would be heavily influenced by the party strategy. The system of governance therefore would be in danger of becoming a pawn in the adversarial and obstructionist politics that we see happening in our country. This is where independents and minor, minor parties hold the balance of power.